right guys welcome back to the channel today is a big day because we got ourselves some new springs for the bro rover and let me show you what springs these are these bad boys are no joke springs i'm telling you right now that if we ever have an issue with bottoming out in this car ever again i'm just gonna up and quit Right now my job for today is I'm going to take the old struts off of this car. We're going to keep the same struts even though they're blown out. And uh, yeah, we're just going to goose it at this point because I really don't care. I just want to fly. I don't want to fly high. I want to have fun. So we're going to do that today. Here's the strut after one race, still covered in crap. Because we were in a pinch and we didn't know what we were doing, we thought these little spring boosters were gonna be a good idea. I can't even get them out of here. We thought these little rubber boosters were gonna be a good idea. They weren't. They lasted maybe one lap on Sunday before they all shot out of the car. We had about eight per strut, so 16 all the way around. And these just didn't do I mean, they did nothing. So these are junk. This has a, some play in it, naturally. That's fine. <laughs> so the first day did not go as planned, but with the help of Matt, say hi, Matt, look at that. Stud. Peak physical form. That's right, right here. <laughs> Take a look. Uh, we upgraded big time. Matt, if you will, open the case. Deal or no deal? I was just gonna say that. <laughs> deal! If this does not compress that spring, I'm, I'm done. Let's give it a go. Whoa. Whoa.
We're putting the new industrial screen in. Dan, your thoughts on how this is going to turn out? Horribly. <laughs> That's we, why we test drive. We will be in a hospital bed probably within the next two and a half hours. Stay tuned. My final words, uh, don't send me to raw way. <laughs> <laughs> That's not in 4-4 four, four timing. Get it in 4-4 four, four timing. You're speeding up. The rest of the band's off. I, I can't anymore. Tech tip time. La -dee -da -dee -da. There's a nut that holds the shaft of the strut hmm. in place. I don't know what's so funny, Matt. Please stop laughing. This is important information. This is science at work here. As I was saying, there's a nut that holds that in place. We put a lot of tension on that nut. So, I was afraid it's going to go somewhere, so I put a jam nut on top, it's a little bit bigger, tighten the daylights out of that, it shouldn't go anywhere. If this starts vibrating loose, we're welding it. Uh, ladies and germs, this is the moment of truth. This is the first time this bad puppy's been on its front paws in about a week. And we have, I mean, not even aftermarket suspension on it, just dumb suspension on it. So let's see how it drops. Dead. I'm bringing this with me in case we lose a tire or in case one comes loose, but I think we're good. Corey Trump. Just out here driving my car, taking it for its first test drive, and uh, my wipers just. The voltage is too low. Oh, the, the voltage, voltage is too low. low. The voltage is too low. The voltage is too low. <laughs> now my wipers are stuck. <laughs> My wipers are stuck. They're locked. They're fighting. I can never race in the rain again. Well, the first test drive with the new springs on the front is done. And I must say, this thing passed the pencil test perfectly. It rides like a waterbed. And uh, that's like, everything I wanted it for. I mean, just look at it. Look at the height. Look at the height. That is disgusting. As it sits right now, this car is ready to go for the next race, but we got a little more work to do to make it perfect for the next race. So uh, keep it locked, because we got more coming. <laughs>